This building behind here got burned down. So we're going to tear this building down, tear this concrete and take it out. And then we're gonna build a new building. It's gonna be a 50 by 35 building. Welcome back pack. This is Adbil from Wolf Seal Buildings. And we got a very custom project. So this building behind here got burned down. So we're going to tear this building down, tear this concrete and take it out. And then we're gonna build a new building. It's gonna be a 50 by 35 building. So let's check out what we gotta do and stay tuned because I'm gonna be showing the full process of this project. So we can help you out with demolition, new driveways, new concrete work and then to bring your metal building to life. So let's get this video started and I hope you learned something new of what can be done and how we can help you. This is a 24 by 40 metal building. Uh, it's got like a porch, but uh, it burned down and you can see the inside. And so it's out here in like the Glen Rose area, there's been a lot of, you can see all the, the, the trees here are burned down. There's been a lot, of, I think like a wildfire happened here. And so we're gonna be tearing this building down uh, along with that breezeway and building a new one along with the whole new building. But he actually wants to make it bigger. So this is 24 here, but our client wants to make it 35. So you can see we're already calculating. Out here we got, we got a backdrop. So we're gonna be extending 13 feet back here. We're gonna be bringing a lot of fill we might even consider to offer to do a retaining wall depending how much off levelness we got. So check this out. This is gonna be all removed. What you get, Blanca? Two and a half feet that corner? Yeah, we have two and about four inches on this corner. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then also there's a, a light pole there. And then we also gotta figure out, cause he's extending a little bit out this way. And luckily it's pretty clear, but you can see there's a drop. So uh, I think he's, uh, this is 40, he's gonna need 50, so 10 feet this way. It's not as bad as this side, so. Well, uh, by the way, meet Blanca. Blanca is one of our project coordinators. If you are needing metal building, you might even either see me, or you might see Blanca on your site to be able to calculate the site work that we need to do to be able to build your dream metal building. Hey Pat, unfortunately, I was not able to record the demolition. However, we do got some shorts clips on it, so check it out on our shorts. And also don't forget to stay tuned for our concrete on this project. microphone's about to die so hopefully you guys can hear me pretty well but we're doing a 50 by 40 pour this is going to be a really nice looking building it's a 50 wide and 40 long okay it's going to have overhead doors and it's going to be a welled up red iron build and we're out here in uh, Glenbow's area so let me show you guys a little bit more of this concrete and how we do our concrete work specifically because it's got some sidewalks and I've seen some problems where the sidewalks are not built the right way. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about because I don't want any water to seep in and maybe you can learn from this. So let's get this one started. We typically use 3000 PSI, it's pretty standard for us. If you wanted to go higher to 4000 PSI or 3500 PSI for your concrete, we can definitely do it. So right now, what we got here is uh this is the 40 and then we got 50 long that way right here is going to be the sidewalk just a small two-foot sidewalk to walk 
walked around the building. And the reason why we got this two by four is really to help keep the, the sidewalk lower about an inch and a half. And that will uh, not allow the panels or the water to seep in because the panel is gonna be sitting on the outside. I've seen a lot of problems where water seeps in under if you have a slab that is bigger than your metal building, water seeping in under. And that should be prevented by the concrete work from your concrete contractor. The pour is happening right now. We're actually missing some guys because the truck broke down. But you know, whenever the mix is ready on the, one of these concrete trucks, you can't wait that long. So uh, working extra hard, I should actually be helping them if I had equipment. <laughs> The beams, so we actually had a cross beams on this project. I and mean, those are to support your concrete. The concrete slab, it went a little hard. <laughs> so we actually doing the sidewalk all the way around. That's where he know. You'll see him here and there. Been working with him for a long time. He knows exactly, got like over 20 years of experience, knows exactly what he's doing. And here is our, our notch, notch work for our doors. That way, no water comes in through your doors. That's, that's again, one of the small little details that if it's overlooked, you just, it defeats the purpose of having the slab. It's to really prevent water and prevent that. Also here we got the uh, vapor barrier. So what tends to happen is that the ground produces moisture. And so the vapor barrier is there to not allow that moisture to come inside your building and then make your building sweat, which is very, very common for metal buildings. It's just, it's just uh, part of having a metal building is it's gonna sweat. So the more you can really keep it where you're pre having vapor barriers will prevent that from happening. On our slab, normally we use number three rebar, 18 inches each way. And then for our footers, we use four number fours. I hope you learned a little bit more about having like a like an extension to your concrete slab or for your foundation slab for your metal building. If you have an extension, make sure you have a notch detail on it. So it's like it's, it's either a little bit lower or it has an angle slope. And that's super, super important. If you don't want to have any water seeping inside your building, it's, it's really, really important that your concrete knows what you're building afterwards. So. Uh, make sure that that's taken care of and, and you're not going to have a slab that doesn't work for your metal building. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. Uh, this nice, nice, it's going to be all white with Galvalume metal building coming up soon. So super excited to show you guys that one. I'll see you guys next time.